To Anderson's TV, my name is Pete, and I'm Rabia. And today we are checking out something new to Anderson, something uh, different, very right? different, very different. Mm. I mean, I've, I've seen these guitars in the past before, but never really got to play one. They look familiar, um, but I, yeah, I don't know anything about them. I've not tried this kind of guitar in my, no, before. It's, so. it's definitely, I mean, it's, as you could hear at the beginning, there we started with a little bit of a sort of um, uh, smoothie kind of Gary Clark Jr. vibes, yeah, blues. that kind of vibe. These guitars are kind of that kind of old-fashioned uh, 20s kind of construction, the acoustic guitars with the mm. hollow and then with the, it, you know, they just look old and authentic, right? Yeah. So these are the B and G uh, Crossroad Little Sister models here. Right. Uh, and all the guitars are basically the same construction. So you've got a, you know, flame maple top. Mm -hmm. You've got a mahogany back, mahogany neck, ebony fretboard. Uh, and you've got this cool slotted headstock on here. Yeah, that reminds me of old flamenco guitars and like the classical guitars you get when you first start playing and stuff. Yeah, right? when, when I first opened the, 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 lovely, the lovely gig bag up, which is all that comes with, like that, that's very cool, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can open that up so you can see what it looks like inside. I actually thought it was a classical guitar. I was like, oh, really? oh they must have sent the wrong classical guitar. Now, the, the company b and are based in Israel, in Tel Aviv. Uh, which is a cool place. Never been. Um, never been, but you know, it looks cool. And uh, so they've got a, where they built private stock guitars. And okay. this range is, is then coming out of China. So it's yep. built in the factory in China. But it's all the same pickups. They, you know, they make their own pickups. You know, they make their own hardware and all sorts of stuff. Uh, brass, silver frets, nickel frets. Um, and it's very sort of authentically 
feeling it yeah they look really thought out you know and yeah and one thing i'd say is first impressions having never tried them like they played really nice and i really enjoyed the way it sounded yeah the pickups are good you you wouldn't you when you look at it it doesn't feel to play like when no you, it's very you know what i mean i wasn't expecting it to kind of play it plays great you know it plays great yeah, and yeah it does it sounds great when we plugged it in but fat so next too they are fat necks like a soft v i would say yeah pretty chubby yeah. Pretty um, chubby. and as you can see you get them cutaway and non-cutaway cut uh, neck joint is in the 14th fret mm -hmm. uh, and a little bird told me uh, that the stepsister models are coming uh, early 2021 uh, they are different models, so they got a. Uh, the neck is attached at the 16th fret. Interesting. So means that the pickup position will be different. Yeah. And then therefore the sound will be different. You know. And you can see here we've got humbuckers and P90s. Exactly. Which are their own ones. And I mean, we just need to listen to what they sound like. They yeah. are. They are 14.99 with the gig back. Yep. Uh, which is you know. That's it's, pretty. And that's it's pretty not, nice I, chunk I, of money think, for the guitar. Yeah, it is. But you know, you'll you'll. This, I think this will appeal to someone mm -hmm. who has got a Strat or who has got a Tele or a Les Paul or whatever and just looking for something a bit different with a bit of a different tone and a different vibe. You know. Yeah, and they're well built. Well, the looks by the looks of things, first impressions again, yeah. like the build quality, like yeah. their QC departments, obviously they come with QC cards and everything. Yeah. So it doesn't, you know, I think sometimes for people, alarm bells ring when they say made in China. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. But at the same time, when you're actually looking with a fine tooth comb over the quality of this, it's like fret work's good. Yes. Finishing job's good. Yeah. Binding's good. There's no bleeding going over the edge there. Yeah. Can't really complain. Yeah. I like the slotted headstock. That's very yeah. classic, isn't it? Yeah. It's very that kind of old. And actually, the logo blues. works on there too. Uh, and the little details down here where it says little sister in the bros. Um, hey, little saddle. sister. Hey, little sister. Right, Rabir, you've got the P90 with the cutaway. I do. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, well, yeah, V4, uh, V140, and then I got a bunch of pedals in front, like the Dane and Noble's Overdrive and all that stuff. So let's have a listen. It's a very different sort of the the, the drive tone. Is it's different, thick isn't it? and warm. Yeah. I really really like that. I didn't yeah. I didn't try out the neck yet, but it's so it's it yeah it feels really really nice. I really enjoy using the compressor with this light speed and Zen thing to get that. Really nice, it's, really like you it. You wouldn't look at these guitars and expect that sound to come out of them, would no, you? No, and it plays good. <laughs> it plays really well, yeah, yeah, it yeah. really does. Uh, let's just have some clean tones. Oh, on yeah, I didn't the, really um, do clean there. No, it's fine, I'll do yeah. some clean tones. So these are the humbuggers. Again, they make, make all these themselves. Uh, and here is the neck position. Really fat, isn't it? This is everything. Jazzy almost, got that it's feel to it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I can get up there all of a sudden. You can't oh, yeah. <laughs> Before you gotta hit hit the thing, and then you you know. Uh, middle position, and again, we didn't talk about that, but this is volume and that's tone mm -hmm. uh, for both pickups, and then the three-way selector switch. They really look good, I think. I think they're well anyway, put together yeah, guitars. This is really this is nicer than the one with non cutaway on it. It's this whole thing. It, I don't mm. know. It just feels like to me. Uh, middle position. <laughs> yeah, uh, and 
then uh, the bridge. <laughs> And let's try with a like a mild dry pedal uh, revival drive. I wouldn't expect this tone. No. You know what I mean? The sound of these pickups, yeah, yeah, they're really good. Let me just take some reverb down. You know, they're not super top endy, but they've got a lot of uh, like you can hear everything, a lot yes. of clarity in yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, just the middle position. <laughs> It's a, it's a substantial neck on here. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 12 inch frets. Uh, Radius on and the these are medium board. jumbo, are they? These frets, they, yeah. look, they look smaller. Yeah, they're than, small, yeah. I think they're kind of uh, classic, kind of yeah, narrow vintage vibes. Um, sounds great, man. Yeah, I really man. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I wasn't expecting that when we opened up the box and you go, what you know, because it's yeah. also, yeah. I think as well, I was going to say the tailpiece and the, the sort of tension when you're playing and it bending rings, and stuff, it? it's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's a 24 and a, a three quarters inch scale length, so it's very familiar to play. Um, but it's got good tension too. Yeah, but yeah, it just rings through very nicely, doesn't it? Um, mm. So as you can see, left-handed people mm. rejoice. Yes. Uh, there is also left-handed versions. All the colors are on the website as well. There are a couple of different um, colors and the configurations are the P90 uh, cutaway, the P90 non-cutaway, humbugger cutaway, humbugger non-cutaway is the one you have over there. I have to say um, I'm pleasantly surprised, Pete. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I mean, 15 under quid, you know, it's not chop yeah. change, you know, you have to, it, you know, it's a... It's a considered purchase. It is, yeah. But it's, I think, I think they are different enough to to be. Yeah, in, I think, in, they, to, yeah, I agree with I mean? that. They stand on their own a yeah. bit. And to be honest, the pickups was a nice, the nicest surprise for me. Like they play really nice, but yes. yeah, the sound of them, they do sound like they're worth that kind of money. Yeah, they play and sound lovely. So there you go. Uh, B and G, Little Sister Classic Series. Uh, mm -hmm. Check mm -hmm. the links mm -hmm. below for all that stuff. And remember, the Naughty Stepsister is coming. Wow. In tw early 2021. There you go. <laughs> so we'll probably we'll check her out. Yeah, we'll check her out once she gets here. Um, Rabia? Yes. Anything else? We should just jam out, shouldn't we? Let's if you jam, jam out. on the um, I'll do a P90 thing and you can do the humbug over there and then uh, then that's it. Thank oh. you very much for watching this uh, video on the B&G guitars. Uh, uh, now available at Anderson's. Thanks for having me, Pete. Yeah, thanks for, for thank you. <laughs> there we go. See you later. Be safe, bye.